Hi. Welcome back. Uh, Corey Harlock here with Questus Hospitality, con um, continuing our video blog series on attraction, retention versus retention attraction, uh, arguing the point that creating a great work environment and meeting the needs of your individual employee will in fact improve your retention. Rather than going out and spending money on tons of money on trying to attract great people, not working on your environment so they leave anyway. Today we're going to be talking about uh, fair recognition or, or the employee's definition of fair recognition. There are a couple things to note here when it comes to recognition. Everyone has a different idea of what that is. So again, it goes back to support the fact that we're managing individuals, not a group of people that all expect and want the same thing. Um, so when we look at, you know, the question we asked was, do you feel in your current position you're getting fair or adequate recognition? Over 50% of the people said no. So that is a big indicator um, that people aren't aren't feeling recognized, whether you're trying to give it or not. So yeah, another interesting stat was when we asked them if they wanted um, bonuses or gift certificates versus a handshake or a, just a genuine thank you versus perks, paid days off, or tickets to an event or something like that. Uh, overwhelmingly. So 40% of the people just want a genuine thank you, and 39.5% want monetary, so gift certificates or cash or whatever that is. Um, interesting stat there. It's not the go to the movies on us or here are some concert tickets. That's not what people want, or, or only about 20% uh, of them want that. Um, when we ask people when do they want uh, to be recognized or when is it most effective to be recognized, 80% of them said when they earn it or deserve it. So they're not looking to be recognized just for showing up on time. They're looking for to be recognized when they go above and beyond. Another shocking stat we got out of this was, I feel the recognition I get for the work I do is delivered in a genuine and honest manner. 62% of the people we surveyed feel that it is only genuine up to 60% of the time. So. Four out of every ten times someone's saying, hey, great job, they do not feel it's genuine, which is a huge demotivator for people. 34% of people have resigned from a job because they felt they weren't getting recognized for the efforts they were putting in. That's a huge number, especially uh, in a growing and strengthening market. Um, it can really affect your staffing levels and your culture climate. In my current or most recent role, I feel there is adequate and fair recognition for the work I do. 46% of people said no, they don't feel that there is adequate recognition within, within their environment. Another thing that we should talk about when, or, or touch on when we talk about recognition is public recognition. And oftentimes you hear, you try to praise publicly, and I know that's an old standard, but it is a tricky one because when you praise publicly, People measure themselves by their own measuring sticks. So if you have an all-star who performs at a very high level and you're praising them when they earn or deserve it, so they're working on a higher level, they're doing bigger and better things to earn their praise and recognition, and you have someone who's a low-level performer that may have per improved their performance dramatically but are still maybe in the bottom 50% of your performers, and you praise them publicly, your top per performers might take exception because they, the thought process that goes to their head is, I'm here, I work hard, I outperform everyone, and when they choose to praise someone publicly, they, they praise someone who performs in the below 50%, for 50 percentile of, our, of the staff or of the group. So public praise can be very tricky. Um, generally, uh, if you're gonna praise publicly, you should do it as a group. Uh, and trying not to single out individuals because you do run the risk of, of upsetting others in the group. Just an aside for you and something to think about. I hope your summer's going well. Uh, July's coming to an end. Uh, we're looking forward to a great August. The market is definitely strengthening. We've seen it on our end. Um, and uh, we look forward to our next video blog next Friday. Thanks so much and have a great weekend.